another word that has several difficult sounds right in a row. Today, I'm going to teach you how to say world in American English. This word is very similar to girl. You may want to watch my video on that as well. Most non-native English speakers have trouble with the R, L, and D combination at the end of the word. A quick reminder, have you subscribed to my channel yet? New videos are released every week. Subscribe so you don't miss any. Now let's start out quickly mentioning the W at the beginning of world. If W is a difficult sound for you, remember a couple of tricks. Round your lips and blow out through the small hole in the middle. If you hold a piece of paper in front of your mouth, it should move in the stream of air you make when pronouncing the W. Try it with these words. We, well, why? Now the er sound. What may be fooling you more than the actual pronunciation is the spelling of this sound. Note that the same er sound can be spelled in a variety of ways. It could be spelled O-R as in world, I-R in girl, E-R in her, U R in sure, E A R in learn. Even though the spelling is different, the sound is still the same. Er. To correctly create this sound, open your mouth about midway, round your lips, pull your tongue back, and don't let the tip touch any part of your mouth. Er. Er. Feel the tension in your face, your tongue, and your lips as you say it. Er. Er. Now make sure the tip of your tongue does not touch the roof of your mouth. Now let's practice ER together. Were. Early. Sir, work, turn. Check out my video on the er sound if you'd like more practice. Now let's combine our first two sounds. Wor, wor, world. The next tricky sound here is the L. The L here is a dark L. Dark Ls occur after a vowel sound in English, and er is considered a vowel sound. This L is a little bit different than our regular or light L in English. The L that you're used to hearing at the beginning of words is pronounced with just the tip of your tongue touching behind your upper front teeth. For instance, in the word love. Notice how the tip of my tongue touches behind my upper front teeth. Love. Love. For the dark L, remember the L that's after vowel sounds, you want to raise your whole tongue, not just the tip. You need to raise the back as well. You can easily do that by closing your mouth. Now try that with me. La, la. Notice my mouth is closed, my tongue is raised in the front and back. Now here are a couple of words that have the dark L. Sell and will. If you would like more practice with the dark L, please watch my dark L video. Now let's combine the first three sounds of world. We have world. Whirl. And whirl is actually a word in English. It means to turn around and around in circles. Whirl. How many syllables do you think the word world has? 
Technically, it has only one since there is only one vowel sound. But something a little unusual happens with certain sounds like the L. It can form a syllable by itself, even though there is no vowel sound with it. So a one-syllable word like world actually sounds like two syllables. This is referred to as a syllabic consonant. In this case, the syllabic L. Listen, does whirl sound like two syllables to you? Whirl, whirl. Now to finish the word, just add a D to the end. It needs to blend in smoothly. Don't break up the sounds at all. Now this should be easy since your tongue is already in the correct position to pronounce a D. The tip of your tongue is in the same place behind your upper front teeth for both the L and D sounds. Let's do it together slowly. World, world. That's it, world. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? What words do you find most difficult to say in English? Please leave me your answer in the comments section below. If it's a commonly mispronounced one, I'll make a video of it for you. Thanks for watching.